Hi everyone, welcome back. In last video, we learned about how we can make the get APIs, and in this video, we are going to learn how we can make the post API in the Lumen. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to show you the steps that we follow for the Mac make the post API. So first of all, just check the DB details. All right, uh, then make a model for the table, then make a controller function then you have to make the routers and at the last that's it you have to hit the api all right so first of all i'm going to check the db details is that my connection is uh, stable or not then you can see that my connection is stable with these three lines that the username password and the uh, database name all right and after that let's check the uh, details inside the browser oh okay so this is my user database here you check that all right and after that i have a table name with the orders so there is a two entry with the post api i'm going to make a third fourth and another entries okay so now let's get started so first of all i do not have inside my model uh, i do not have the orders um, model so i'm first of all i need to make this so just write here php artisan make model and the path my path is model and the model name order so you can see that just i created here and one more tab uh, model is here all right so now i have to import it inside the uh my controller so my controller is here okay so first of all i'm going to import it for import i'm going to just rename copy and rename the last one okay now uh first step is clear okay now uh two steps are clear now go uh come to the third step make a controller function okay so for the controller function I'm going to make public function order and inside the order I'm going to print the request which is coming from the postman so that we can check that how many parameters we came here we are getting here so for that dollar request and let's check only inputs okay so is it working no it's not working because we have to import the uh, request class first of all for that you i have to use the use eliminate okay so eliminate and with the uh, i think it should be the capital I should be the capital mm, let's check let's check the spell uh, that's fine and now just put the HTTP and the class name is request all right and inside the parameters we need to get the request with the type of requests all right so now it should work uh, after the completing the third step just make a router here for the make the router just copy this one and it should be the post kind of request and we can use the orders with the order function of YouTube controller all right now uh, make the post request paste the URL inside the body select the raw data and JSON all right so just write here order and just try to hit the enter then you will see that the array is the blank for now okay so how we can get the proper request okay so for that we have to put the parameters here so what parameters we needed we needed the three parameters to save inside the database the ID order number all right and the user ID 
so for id let's say id can be uh, 103 to, to request 102 that's fine we can put anything just i'm um, follow the orders okay the order number and the order number is 444 all right whatever it can be and the user id user underscore id can be let's say 3 all right now let's check the request okay so we got the all data here okay now just write uh, the logic for the save the data okay so for that use the orders model equal to new model make a object of the order table then now just write here order id is what is the order id just copy this one from here to get the request and put here simply id with the id we are able to get only this one because its parameter is id okay so just copy this one paste the three time and the sec the two other parameters are here and get the user underscore id from the request also all right and at the last we just have to use the orders with the arrow of the save function it will help you to save now is it working yes it should work but there is there is there is one error what is that error i'll show you after the hitting this hitting the apis let's see now it will showing that uh, unknown column name update add but we did not add any uh update on so why this is adding by default laravel understand that the every table have the updated on date and the created on date but in our table they are not here so that what we can do for that we have to just follow the time stamps for that just write here public dollar time stamp false and let's check now now you will see that we got the another data here but the response is nothing why because we are nothing to print here so i can check here echo and if it will return one that means we got the data okay so uh, there is a primary id so that it's not going to enter so just change the 103 and hit this now we got the one and data is also here okay so with that uh, this is a very simple way to use the postman uh, for the post request and how we can make the post api with the lumen so in the next video i am going to make a common response so that you are able to see there is a, a proper status and meta tags and the uh, we can say that the data and a line there uh that i successfully added or that i failed everything in the next video so we will call it the common response builder all right so don't forget to subscribe our channel if you have any kind of confusion you can ask me inside the comment box so thanks guys thanks for watching this video